What's up everybody, everyone here with week 6 of Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 1 and we got some more challenges. Honestly, had a hard time with a few of them, but let's get to it. First off, we got this one, receive your next objective in Sanctuary or any 7 outposts. So we're gonna go to this 7 outpost near the Sanctuary and we're gonna get the actual mission. So, our first rocket recon mission failed, but you know what they say. When one launch pad door closes, another one opens. And behind that door, there's a bigger rocket with more telescope parts in it, which you will go and source for me right now. This is very exciting for you. We gotta destroy and collect telescope parts in a single match. So we can do this. There's a telescope part on each of the seven outposts. I'm gonna do this. You need three of them. I'm going to do this around the sanctuary. Or actually near the sanctuary. First there's one here on the this seven outposts. focusing power plus i can paint some racing stripes on it i mean not me i know a guy next we got another seven outposts that is on the island near the last one yes watch out guidance sensors you're about to get a brand new internal magnet system you're welcome and lastly we got the one on sanctuary telescopes i wish i had forever to build this one but you know impending doom and all next challenge damage an opponent within 45 seconds of crouching in tall grass so tall grass there's a lot of them around daily bugle they're only around daily bugle and there are a few around the jonesies so we're gonna go to the daily bugle we're gonna land get a gun first and there's one tall grass right in front of the daily bugle which is where i'm gonna do it so 45 seconds is quite a lot of time you can just crouch there and run to find someone it doesn't require you to do a certain amount of damage any damage will do so pretty simple you don't have to actually do it in the tall grass like i said you can crouch get out of the tall grass find someone Next, purchase a random item from a malfunctioning vending machine. So, you can see malfunctioning vending machines. You'll see them as a exclamation point if you get near them. And then when you see the vending machine will be red, you purchase it, a random item with 100 gold bars. And that is all you have to do here. Next, we got travel 100 meters while flying around a tornado. So, this one is, a, is one I had a, a lot of problems to find. So, here you can see the tornado forming from far away but i couldn't reach it in time so i had one time that it took the the tornado only lasted 40 30 seconds but the time that i actually got the challenge it lasted way longer it took me two hours to get this you have a lot of storms with lightning in it there's no tornado just lightning the strategy that i did was get a car you know the fastest car in the game right now put the off-road wheels on it drive to about the center of the circle or at least inside the circle inside the circle for sure change to the passenger seat and just look around you'll see eventually the cloud the gray cloud and if there is no tornado in the cloud it's a lightning storm so it doesn't count don't go for it but you'll see the tornado once it's formed now just drive towards it as, as fast as you can because it might not last that long now once you're in the, the tornado just get out of the car go into it you're gonna fly around and you just fly around it until the channel this is done so it's a pretty simple challenge but finding the tornado like i said took me two hours just to see a few of them and even the ones i got to see they i couldn't get i couldn't reach the tornado in time so it's kind of annoying maybe you don't need to do it right away you know just play the game normally if you find one organically go towards it because you might get a little annoyed Next, we gotta destroy timber pine stumps with a melee or ranged weapon. We gotta do three of those. So there's a spot here north of Camp Cuddle where there's a lot of these pines, timber pines. So now, last week we had to knock them down. This time we have to destroy the stump. So we first knock it down and then finish the stump off. Pretty simple, we just need three of them. There's like 26 in this area. 
Next, recover health by harassing in a tent. So we've done everything there is to do with the tent right now, every week. Last thing to do is rest with triangle. First, you have to claim the tent, right? And then you press triangle, you're gonna go inside the tent. You can recover health. First, lose some health. You need to lose 30 health, and then you gain that 30 health back for the challenge. I believe you can't get health back if you're in the storm, or at least the, the tent will de be destroyed eventually. So maybe it doesn't work exactly in this. Next, mark an enemy player using a flare gun. This is another challenge that I had a hard time. First, because finding the flare gun was kind of hard. You know, you can find them as floor loot or chest loot. Now, you'll see me doing it a few times here, and it didn't count for me. I think it's because I could see them, kind of. The one time that it did count for me, the, the player was inside the house. So every time I tried here where it didn't count, the guys were right in front of me. I shot the flare gun straight forward. I don't think it matters, but I've tried to shoot the flare gun up and forward, not just forward, towards the enemy, and try to mark someone that is inside a building. I think this is kind of glitched right now because it should count. Obviously, I'm marking the opponents here, but, you know, until they fix it, try to mark them inside a building. Or just keep trying, you know, maybe it won't count for you if they're inside a building anyway. Just trying, unfortunately. Last challenge of the week, honk a car horn within 10 meters of an opponent. So just go to a crowded area that has cars and just press down on the D-pad to honk a car. If you have audio visualization, you can see the enemies near you. So just keep honking when you see them. You can try this on Team Rumble, but Team Rumble doesn't have as many cars available to you. If you do find one, you know, can bring it to the circle and you sure find plenty of enemies to do. So that is it for this week, guys. Thanks for watching we still got plenty more of challenges this season so i'll see you next week goodbye